Good morning, South Florida. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Here's a look at some of your Tuesday morning headlines. Court documents revealing new details surrounding the death of a two-year-old who died inside a hot daycare van in Oakland Park. The van driver, Engwood Thur Thurston, is accused of aggravated manslaughter. Court documents show that Thurston told detectives that she never received training on the van's alarm safety system. She also told BSO investigators neither she nor other employees went back inside the van to see if any children were left behind. New this morning, a magnitude 6 <laughs> earthquake rattled Puerto Rico overnight. The quake struck 49 miles off the island's northwest coast at a depth of six miles. The earthquake caused this high rise in Ponce to shake and broke a water main on the western part of the island. There are also several aftershocks. Luckily, there are no reports of major damage as of now. A 13-year-old boy is facing some serious charges after allegedly threatening other students in a group chat. The eighth grader attends Leewood K-8 through in southwest Miami-Dade. Police say in a cell phone chat last Wednesday with other students, the teen threatened to shoot up minority students and those in the LGBTQ community. The boy was in juvenile court on Friday and will be back in court on October 3rd. And breaking overnight, Britain's Supreme Court has ruled Prime Minister Boris Johnson five-week suspension of Parliament before the October 31st Brexit deadline, quote, void and of no effect. The decision was made unanimously. The court's ruling means Parliament was never legally suspended and that lawmakers could decide when to reconvene. And that's a look at some of your Tuesday morning headlines. Make sure to join us later for CBS 4 News at noon and get updates anytime on CBSMiami.com.